I think I'm live. Hello, everyone. It's Laura from So Very Easy. And thank you for your patience with me trying to figure out how to do this go live thing. It's still a work in progress, but I'm working on it. So I want to say a special thank you to people who keep making comments and everything. It's wonderful. However, I thought the comments that you made last week, I would be able to see after the video went live and I could not. I guess I can't. So I apologize if I was not able to answer some of your However, comments. I just didn't know I couldn't do them. But I did have one person ask if I could show how to make a bag that they could use as storage. So I did do a video doing that and that's going to be going live soon. So it's going to be a carry old bag. And you're going to be able to make this any size. I show you step by step on how to do it. So thank you to whoever it is who asked me that week. We are going to make some wall art. It's going to be very, very easy to do. You're going to need a piece of canvas. Now you can get this canvas. It's pretty stretched. You can get it at craft stores. You can also get it at dollar stores now, which is great. And you can start with any size. It is a canvas that is stretched on wood. And what's really great about it, canvas is fabric. So we're going to be able to use this as fabric. So I'm going to make wall art out of it. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So for those that are watching today, it is July 23rd. So this is going live. And you are going to be able to make comments. And I can read your comments. So I'm going to be able to answer you as we go along. Now, sometimes I don't look up quick enough to see your comments. So if I miss it, be sure to make a comment when the video goes on my channel. So I'm able to answer you back if you have any questions. So to make this wall art, what I'm going to use is just a couple of things and you can use what I have or try and use whatever else you want. I'm going to use some fabric because, well, I have lots of scrap fabric that I'm going to be able to use. I'm also going to glue right on top of this canvas and on top of the fabric. So I have all sorts of things that I'm going to be able to glue on. I have buttons and little stones, shells, and I broke a bracelet the other day, so I'm going to be able to use that. I might need some permanent markers, but again, that choice is going to be up to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start and put something on this canvas and then decorate whatever that something is that I'm going to put on. And it's just a matter of cutting out some fabric. So you can just draw something and cut it out. If you want to do circles, you're going to be able to just glue those circles on and to make a flower or you can just do lines and all sorts of things. If you want to have something a little bit more stable so that the fabric doesn't move as much, you're going to be able to use freezer paper. Now, freezer paper is a little bit different than wax paper. It does have wax on it, but the wax is only on one side. So you have paper and you have wax. Sorry about that. <laughs> I think my phone is still in my room. <laughs> so I have wax on the other side that wax side you're going to be able to iron it on top of your fabric and that's going to keep it stable so i've already pre-ironed it on so the wax side is on that fabric now i've put the paper on the top of the fabric because if i put it on the back if i whatever i cut out it would be reversed when I turn it down. So if it's a shape that can be reversed like circles and squares and triangles, then it won't matter. But I'm just going to draw my first initial L. And it's a great thing to start with, especially for kids, because it's always nice for them to do their first letter of their name. And I'm not going to really take a lot of concern about it. It doesn't need to be perfect. We just need to cut out a shape. So I'm just going to put that piece of fabric right over top of my canvas so I know that it stays within that perimeter. And I'm going to just, without worrying about it, draw my letter L for my name. 
and that's it. I'm not going to give it much more time than that because we're going to be covering it anyways. It's just going to give us a nice background to start with. So let me cut this out. And I see I have some hellos. I have hello from, oh my goodness, are you ready? Netherlands, Scotland, South Africa, Idaho, British Columbia, Kentucky, Georgia, Ohio, Germany, Texas, Virginia, Arizona, North Carolina, California, Switzerland, wow, and St. Louis. Hello, welcome to my sewing space. And I have a special hello that I wanna put out to a couple of people that have told me they're going to be watching. So a special hello to Shirley. Angela, Caroline, and Christine. Thank you very much for joining me. And thank you, everyone who joins me. I'm just going to now continue to cut out my initial. And like I said, it's something, this is great for kids because you really don't have to be very particular about it. It's just going to be a fun project. So there's my letter L. Now I wanna be able to glue that right on top of the canvas. Now you can do many different types of glue. Because this has been pre-treated, you can just use like a white craft glue, but I'm going to use liquid stitch. It's actually designed to put fabric onto fabric and we have canvas and we have fabric, so it's going to work out for me. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to squeeze it. Hold on. I'm just going to do it this way. I'm just going to put some blobs on. And I'm not going to worry about it. I have a foam brush. I'm just going to spread it. And I'm not worried about getting the glue on the canvas because it's just going to dry. So I'm not worried about it. This is what makes it fun for a kid's project because you don't have to worry too much about it. Yeah, you can always put that fabric on top of something else until the glue is spread. But I only have so much of a workspace, so I'm just going to do it this way. And just spread it over. Now, that liquid stitch that I'm using, it is permanent. That's another reason why I like using it. So let me twist my initial and take off that freezer paper. There we go. Put my brush down and that's it. That's all I'm going to do to worry about sticking that on. Just stick it down. So there's my letter L. Now the great thing is this can be used for many different things. If you're going to decorate a nursery, you can use some baby fabric and get some little cute baby notions on it and it would look really cute. If you wanted to do some shells, I've got some great shell fabric and you can buy bundles of shells, which is really fun to use. For boys, we could do some boy fabric and you can glue some stones on or some fun things that they choose. So just have them choose some things that they like, get them all together, get a nice big piece of canvas and let them go to town. This would also make a great thing to do at a kid's birthday party because they'd all be able to just choose what they want. And if you don't want to start with fabric, you can just start with markers and just draw right on top of the canvas. Because the next thing we're going to do is glue all of these odds and sods right on top of the canvas. Now, this is going to need something that's going to stick really well. Because it's a kid's project, I don't want to use a hot glue gun. You could use a hot glue gun, but I'm going to use a product called Gem high tack or gem tack and you can get this at walmart and you can get this at a lot of sewing supplies and it's actually designed to glue jewelry and gems onto products and it really works quite well so it is a good product to use and it comes in a nice squeeze container what I'm going to do is i'm just going to be able to glue all of these little things that I want right on top of my butt, what my fabric is that I did. So let me just take some goop off my hands and I can glue. 
I'm just going to start with these buttons and you can just decide where you're going to put them or just glue as you go along. I like to pre plan a little bit before I go. These buttons anywhere nowadays. It's a lot of fun working with buttons. I love buttons. The problem is that sometimes I don't want to use them. They're so pretty in my crafts. So I'm just going to go and get my main little areas done. Oops, I'm stuck to the buttons. Hold on, let me roll off that glue because it just rolls right off your hands. Okay, I have some more people who are from different places. Let's see where I have more people from. Okay, are we ready? Here's a big breath. Miami, Washington, New Brunswick, Canada. Alabama, Oregon, Chile, Louisiana, UK, I'm sure that's you, Shirley, Louisiana, oh, I did that one, Argentina, Los Angeles, Kentucky, South Dakota, and hold on, Grandma from Iowa, hold on, can't read, sorry, it's somewhere, it's past, missed it, um, Ireland, Morocco, Virginia, Italy, Barcelona, Quebec, and Brazil. See, when we get together, it's like an international party. Aren't these things great where you can do these live productions? How much fun is this that we get to, you know, have this opportunity from all over the world? I think it's so much fun. Okay, so let's get some gluing done. And I'm just going to squeeze this down and plop my buttons on top. Now it comes out white, but it does dry clear and it's really quite strong. So you'll be able to keep this afterwards and you won't have to worry about it falling apart. And that's what makes it great for a kids craft because you're they're going to be able to keep it and if it's for a party they can take it home. Another idea is as a teacher you could do all the letters of the alphabet and try to get pictures that are related to those alphabet letters. So you could do the uppercase and the lowercase and have them all along the walls. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Do you have any ideas on what you could do? Put them in the comment so that we can share what everybody's ideas are because it's nice to see what you're thinking and how you think that you would be able to use the project. So now I'm just going to put some goopy glue on there and my fingers are all going to be full of glue and that is the best part of this because we get to pretend we're kids again. And I'm just going to continue to just stack these on. Now, of course, you can always take time and have them, you know, exactly the way you want them, but because I don't want to take too much time, I'm going to do them. And maybe I'll put a couple of little stones in them. Again, because this glue dries clear, it's going to be quite fun to see what it looks like afterwards. What I'll do is when it does all dry, I'll post a picture on Facebook. Now, if you want to go to my Facebook channel, you can just type in so very easy and you'll see my Facebook channel and then just send a, re a friend request and uh, I'll friend you. And there you go. And I'm just going to kind of do these as we go along. And what's going to happen is by having that fabric underneath, the areas that you miss are going to show through. And sometimes buttons are a little bit opaque. So that's kind of nice too to have that at the, you know, behind. Just going to kind of do this. Just goop it on. And if you're going to do this for kids, make sure you have a sink full of some soapy water because they're definitely going to have their fingers glue and I've chosen all pink buttons but you can buy a bag of all different colored buttons which is really fun too so you don't always have to do it oh my goodness look at this button and how am I supposed to sew that button on I think it's missing a piece that's good I'm going to be able to put something right in the middle of that button 
So it's just a matter of to have fun. And you can spend a lot of time and really plan what you're going to do, especially if you're going to do like the letters of the alphabet. You can even have the class participate in maybe going home and finding things on what they think that letter of the alphabet is. Maybe for D, they'll find a little stuffed animal that's a dog. And it would be a good activity for the class to do. And I think it'd be fun. I like to get kids involved in things because, well, fun to see their ideas because they definitely will think different than we do. Okay, so has anybody wrote where an idea on what else to do with this? Hello, Jody. Oh, hi, Jody. How are you? Okay, some more people. Ohio, Montreal, Michigan, Maryland, Florida, San Francisco, United Arab and France, and Cash, I don't even know how to pronounce that. But we're all together. It's fun. So any ideas other than for school or for walls? Has anybody come up with any ideas yet? I think this is fun. I'm really getting some mess all over my fingers. Oh, how much fun. I don't remember the last time I put glue all over my fingers. I remember when I was in school, you'd get that glue and you could peel the layers off after it was dry. I would try to gross my brothers out. I come from a very large family. There's six kids. And with my parents, that made eight of us. And that was some dinner conversation. And we used to get together every dinner and have great conversation and a lot of fun. And I put that tradition on to my family after I got married. So my, ooh, that's a nice button. So my kids were home and we had dinner. It gives you a good opportunity to find out what the day is going on. And I don't know, it always seems to be easy to talk around the dinner table. When you have food, it's always easy to talk. Oh, I think I'm gonna put some more little stones on. This would so you could have if you're having this for a kid's party you could have just all of these bowls of things pom-poms and jewels broken bracelets and necklaces and of course i love buttons so we can do all of the buttons so here we go i'm i am running out of room one more button here because I see a nice area for it. Let's see. Oh, sir. Did you go? I had a purplish button. Oh, well, I'll use this little pink one. So here we go. So there's my, oops, lost a jewel. Just a moment. So there we go. So far, this is what I have. Now, I have extra space, so I'm going to be able to do other things with it. And that's where I think maybe the markers would come in handy. So if you did permanent markers, they could actually draw pictures and then go from there. They could color over top of them or just leave them in the colored markers. I think I am just going to take this and I'm going to just do a curve and glue on that curve. Why? No particular reason. I think I'll do three because I like to do things in sets of three. And again, I'm not worried about the um, glue coming out too much. It's going to dry clear so you won't have anything to worry about. Let's see. Let's put some little stones on to start off with. So these stones, I just, I was able to get them. I think they're for fish tanks. They're little stones for the bottom of fish tanks. And some of them are just so pretty. And when the glue dries clear, they're going to be like, you know, little rocks, clear rocks. And some of them are just ever so pretty. So let me put some more buttons on. So, okay, Joan, this, this would be great in my sewing room with a bunch of sewing nush. That's a very good on. You could have all different sewing notions, even some antique ones, you know, that, could, that you're not going to use anymore, and it would make a nice display for a wall. That's a very good idea. 
it would uh, I think that would be a lot of, actually that would be really a lot of fun I have some old um, some old sewing stuff from my my grandmother's and they're not usable anymore because they're just they're too delicate to use but I think that would be a fun idea and it would really make a nice backdrop okay let me put some more little buttons on here because for some reason I just think I want some little ones going on this little area so how many of you would do this with your kids would it is it something you think you would be interested in doing I, I kind of think it's fun but sort of like playing playing with glue how can you not want to play with glue hold on now i'm glued to the button again oops okay they might fall off because they're a little wet so here we go just to add some decoration to it and i'm going to be able to just do this i think i'll do a border all the way around since i'm doing buttons and let me see if i have some more hellos just a moment. I have Dubai, New Jersey, Rhode Island, Pittsburgh, Minnesota, Greece, and France. Oh my goodness, you guys are amazing. Really is awesome. And again, just the glue. So again, if you're going to do this and it's just you, I mean, you could, you know, use the hot glue gun. The only thing with the hot glue gun, because it is um, some of these things, it, it's like has a slippery surface, the hot glue will sometimes peel off of those surfaces. And that's why I find that this uh, gem, what's it called again? Gem tack works really good. So there we go. I'm just going to finish gluing some buttons all the way around. So Next week, I think I'm going to do a little project that is going to involve t-shirts. And we're going to be able to decorate t-shirts. And I'll show you my supplies um, at the end of the video. So if you want to get them together before you, you go, or before you join me, you can. Let's just put this one. So I can just continue doing this and I could be doing this all day because I just think it's a lot of fun to do and continue. So let me show you what I have so far and then it'll give you an idea of what you can do. So can you see that? There we go. So you can see um, when all of this white glue dries, you're going to be able to see the fabric underneath. and. Because I chose the uh, stretcher with the wooden frame on it, you're going to be able to hang it up. You can get a canvas and it's stretched on top of um, a flat board, so it's very, very flat. Now, that's great if you're going to put it like on a plate stand or something. You're going to have to put some kind of a hanger on the back if you're going to hang it up. But if you're just going to lean it, it's going to be fine. I'm going to leave this and finish it after. I want to show you the supplies for next time we get together. And we're going to be able to decorate shirts. Now this is gonna be great if you have um, a team and you wanna make everybody team shirts, this is a great thing to do. You're going to need a t-shirt and something to go in between the layers of the t-shirt, like a piece of cardboard or something so that, that the colors don't go through on both sides and some clips to hold that cardboard on because you're going to want to make this as a drawing surface then a picture now i am going to be using this picture here because i'm going to make this shirt for my grandson and if you've been following along you have probably seen my grandson he loves trucks and mud so i really think he's going to like this and what i want to do is transfer this picture onto the shirt. So what I'm going to use is a set of markers. And let me see if I can show you what they are. And these are iron-on transferable pens. So you're going to be able to use these 
and you're going to take this with this and you're going to transfer the picture onto the t-shirt then i have some fabric markers that after i get that picture transferred on he's going to be able to color his own shirt and it's going to be very personal to him or if it's a team spirit group that you need to make or team jerseys that you're going to make you can make them all the same or it would be another great idea for a kids party it's a good thing that these things are so easily available to us and it makes it so much fun to be able to spend that time together with the kids so let me see who else i have a few more california hawaii jamaica michigan maryland and san francisco thank you everyone for joining me i really enjoy these i love to see where everybody's from and i love to see the comments that come through this video will go live on my channel when it's done and then when it does then i'll fix all of the um what the title is going to be and all of that oh i just have one come back come in from india hello india <laughs> so if you're going to be able to see the um you won't be able to see the comments that have been made on this live video but any new comments you're going to be able to see so i've if i've missed a comment or i've missed you somehow be sure to put a comment in there then i'm going to be able to know about it so thank you very much for joining me and next week Sunday at two o'clock we're going to decorate these shirts it's going to be a lot of fun I do hope you join me thank you and have yourself a great sewing day bye now